Ooh, ooh. This is mesmerizing. Ooh, that was a big one. Oh, I'm drenched now. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. I don't have any makeup to zoom you in on yet. Well, I got my base makeup on here. I got a little purple highlight from my Glisten Shapeshifter palette on, but you can see from the title of the video, we're gonna do some makeup here together, but look at these cute little butterfly clips. Well, I guess I can't call them butterfly clips. Butterfly style, but they're little flower clips. I forgot I had these. I got these from Shop Miss A last year. So freaking cute. Also got my little Shop Kike lace wing earrings on. If there's one pair of earrings that I get the most questions on, where did you get those earrings? I would say it's probably these. And honestly, I don't blame you. They're so cool. They're holographic. They change color in the sun. They are just so, so fun. Also, did you notice I have a pimple patch on? I feel like I'm hiding it well. I feel like it's in a good spot. I did my makeup over it, so it's kind of like concealed a little bit. I don't know. If you noticed, don't tell me because I feel like I hit it really well. But that's not what this video is about. You did not click on this video to listen to me rant and rave about all of my accessories. No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in me trying Duraline for the first time. So if you joined me for my live stream last Saturday, I was organizing my makeup desk, and I don't even remember how it came up, but I think maybe somebody asked me a question if I had used Duraline before, and I said no, and then I got like an influx of comments of people being like, you have to try it, definitely try it. Supposedly, it can turn any eyeshadow into an eyeliner or loose pigment into an eyeliner, as well as make your non-waterproof eyeliners waterproof. So, sounds really intriguing to me. I have used mixing mediums in the past. Like I've said before, I have my little Mehron mixing medium, but you guys were telling me during the live that these are different because Duraline is silicone-based, whereas the mixing medium is alcohol-based, so that's like the difference there. I mean, I can already tell this is like thicker than my mixing medium. So I'm very excited. I had trouble finding an instructional video on how to make your own eyeliners using eyeshadow with these, but I did find this one video from a YouTuber from 2015. She actually showed the process of like mixing it. You know, she didn't give exact measurements or anything, but I feel like I have a better idea of a ratio now. So that video was so, so helpful. So I'm gonna take this beautiful purple eyeshadow from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, Pretty Little Lilac. My friend Artie sent this to me. Thank you so much, Artie. That was super sweet of you because I think this would be a beautiful eyeliner and then I'm gonna go in with my glisten BYOP palette and take my metallic purple shade because I feel like they look pretty similar to each other and I'm gonna see if I can't make this waterproof so if that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you want to see me put this stir line to the test then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching because it's coming at you right now. All right, so I'm really excited to get to mixing with this Duraline, so I think we should do that one first. I'm gonna use a palette this time. I know it stresses people out when I mix right in the eyeshadow pans because it ruins the eyeshadow, and yeah, it stresses me out too. So I'm actually gonna use a palette today. About Face was kind enough to send me a palette with their PR package that they sent me before. Like I said, that lovely video I watched on YouTube earlier, I got kind of an idea for the ratio that you're supposed to use with eyeshadow. So she did like a pretty a pretty good pile of the eyeshadow here little eyeshadow shavings and then she did two drops of the Duraline so I'm going to attempt to do that now I'm gonna do this very professional method of balancing the palette on my knee while I scrape the eyeshadows so that you guys can watch so yeah I'm just gonna scrape a little bit like I said she had like a petite pile and then added a couple of drops of the Duraline so is this a good enough pile? Yeah, I think that looks good enough. And I managed to not knock it off my knee. Isn't that incredible? Also, it looks pretty crushed up, but I am gonna take my spatula here and crush it up a little bit more just so it's like super finely milled. Okay, feels chopped enough. Feels chopped enough to me. Is this chopped on the Food Network? Maybe, it's not. It's not chopped on the Food Network. It's my YouTube channel. Okay, so like I said, the video I watched, she did like two drops of the Duraline. So let's hit it with a one and a two. Okay, this is a pretty, pretty good dropper. I was worried it would be hard to control, but that was honestly pretty easy to do. Okay, oh, it's all getting stuck to my spatula here. I might need just one more drop though, because I feel like maybe my pile was a bit too big. All right, I'm making the executive decision to just add one more drop. Oh uh, yeah, look at that. That's coming together now. That's a good paste. All right, here's my little paste. You can see it's thick enough to like stick to the board like this, but it definitely feels like it's gonna be liquidy enough 
enough to make an eyeliner. I don't know, we'll see. Also, since I have a little bit of extra on my, my spatula here, I am gonna do a swatch. Supposedly, I was watching a video from Inglot that said that using Durline makes shadows more pigmented. So now, naturally, being a curious cat, I wanna just swatch the shadow regularly and see if that's actually true. Okay. I don't know, I mean, the Give Me Glow formula is pretty powerful on its own, but I do see what they're saying. Like, this one does look a little more impactful. All right, I guess let's go in and give the eyeliner a try now. Ugh, now it's feeling dry again. Did I let it sit for too long? Maybe it needs a little more. Ugh, this is, it's hard to get the ratio right. Let's see what this swipe looks like on the back of my hand. It's showing up, but it's a little chunky. Okay, but I drop more of Durline. Oh, it's so tough to get a good ratio here. Nice. Maybe I'll just use the brush to mix it at this point. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's actually mixing really nicely with my brush. Okay, I feel good about this decision. Are we all feeling good? Are we all feeling confident? I certainly am. And I don't want to wait too long because I feel like it's going to dry out again. So let's, let's just go for it. Let's see if I can do some liner with this. Ooh, ooh, okay. That's, wow. That went on smooth as heck, dude. I was for sure con, I figured it was can't even talk. I really figured it was gonna run out of pigmentation in the middle, but it didn't at all. Okay, grabbing a little bit more on my brush because I want to see if I can layer it a little bit. It's definitely slightly more opaque over here. Could just be the shift to the shadow, but regardless, I want to add a little more product. Also feels so weird. Normally when you do water activated liners, it feels like cold on your eye because like there's water there, but because it's the Duraline, it just like feels like absolutely nothing, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, it's working so well. Now that I get the ratio right, it's like super smooth. Let's do another line here. And supposedly this is gonna make everything waterproof. We are gonna test this at the end of the video or after I get both eyes done. I'm gonna spray my face with a little bit of water and we're gonna see if anything happens. Hopefully it doesn't ruin my makeup. Let's take it maybe just a little bit onto the lash line here. I still have like so much product on my palette here. I feel like I could have added less eyeshadow and then therefore less Durline. But I also will say, I feel like the ratio is like pretty much 50-50. Like I ended up using four full drops of the Durline with my little pile of eyeshadow, so I don't know. I feel like you use more than you think you need. All right, I turned down the brightness because I wanted you to be able to see the color a little better. I think this looks so good. I was a little worried that choosing a shimmery shade like this was going to make it hard to see, you know, because I've tried to make eyeliners out of shimmery shadows with my mixing medium in the past, and it has not gone so well. But I thought a matte would be boring, so I'm glad I ended up going with this. I feel like it's still showing up super pigmented. It looks a little light in the middle, but that's just because this purple has, like, such a gorgeous metallic Alex shift. This is mesmerizing. I could scream. I am screaming. This is works so well. Okay, I gotta do the other eye now because like I said, we're also gonna test to see if it can make water activated liners waterproof. When I was on my live, people were asking like, can you mix it directly with the water activated liner? And I didn't know. But my friend Holly responded and said that she does it after her water activated liner. She said that it could actually ruin the liner if you put it directly in there or could mess with the formula. So she recommends going in with your water activated liner and then topping it with the Duraline. So that is my method and that's what I'm going to do. All right. So I went ahead and totally cleaned off my brush first. So now I'm going to dip into my metallic wet liner shade from Glisten Cosmetics. This is the shade Amethyst. It's such a gorgeous metallic purple that I'm hoping will match the shade Pretty Little Lilac from Give Me Glow so that I can have somewhat of a cohesive look. And this one I'm just dipping in water. I know I'm, I'm dipping into my grody little water cup off camera, but it is just water. No Duraline until afterwards. All right. Now let me see if I can replicate the same graphic liner shape on the other eye. Ooh, also so pretty. What do you think? Is it a good color match? I feel like it's a pretty good color match. The Give Me Glow one might be slightly more warm tone than the Glisten one, but that's okay. All right. I feel like my eyes match pretty decently. Like I said earlier, this one's definitely a hint more cool tone, but what are you gonna do? 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Duraline to try to make it waterproof. And from everything I've heard, it seems like you're just supposed to kind of lightly tap it over. They said to be careful, in the video I watched from Inglot, they said to be careful not to add too much because you don't want to disturb the product underneath at all. Like you don't want it to be too, too wet. So rather than dip my brush into the product directly and create some cross contamination, I'm just gonna put a little bit of Duraline on my plate here. And let me actually go in with a clean plate brush. This is a, a Glisten number 10 brush. It's a little bit thicker, but I'm just going to dip it into the Duraline because I don't want any of the product from the other brush to mix in with it. Taking really light swiping motions as I don't want to wipe the product away. It's so hard because you like can't see it. You know, it's clear, so I'm not really like seeing it go on. And like I said earlier, the Duraline feels like nothing going on. Like when you put on water activated liner, you feel it. It's cold, it's wet, it's wet water. The water was wet. Oh my gosh, mind blowing. But yeah, you really don't feel the Duraline going on at all. So I'm just hoping that I'm using enough. All right, I'm pretty sure that I'm totally covered, saturated, whatever you want to call it, with the Duraline on my water activated liner side. I probably used more than I needed to, but I just really wanted to be sure. So now what I'm going to do is wait like five full minutes before I go in and do my water test because I want to give this the best chance as possible and I really want to make sure that the Duraline is totally dry. So I'll see you in five minutes. Five minute timer is up. It's been five minutes. Let me give them a little feel. Okay. Feels like nothing. I'm not seeing any transfer. Here's the proof, no transfer. And now I have this little spray bottle of water. Just water in there. Ugh, I just hope it doesn't mess up the rest of my makeup. Honestly, I'm very dewy today. I don't really think it's gonna mess anything up otherwise. All right, here it goes. Oh, that was so much more water than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, is it dripping all over my face? Is it dripping all over my face? Appears to be all good on my, my eyeshadow Duraline concoction side. Let's try the water activated liner side because let's all be real. That's, that's the one I'm more nervous about. Oh, I really hope I did it right. I'm gonna hold it a little further away because that was like a blast. Not in a good way, not a good blast. Okay, here we go. That was still a squirt. Okay, nothing happened. I feel like, to be fair, if I were watching this, I'd be like, she did a light spray. I don't really buy it. So, to make it fair to everyone, I'm going to super soak myself just a little bit more. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, I'm drenched now. If that's not a good enough test, I don't know what is. I'm afraid to even open my eyes because I'm afraid they're going to drip into my eyes. Okay, let's see. Okay, you guys, nothing is running so far. And just, you know what I should have done to show you proof that normally if this were not set with Duraline, we would be in dire straits right now. Let me show you a little swatch of the same water activated liner on the back of my hand. Because people always ask me, they're like, how well the water activated liners stand up to water and everything. And I'm like, not well, they're water activated and water deactivated. If you wear them in the rain, they're gonna run. All right, so my water activated liner swatch is totally dry. As you can see, I can run my finger over it and it's not smudging or anything. Now let's give it the spray test. Oh, there it is. I was concerned at first. I was like, is nothing happening? Uh, yeah, it's completely melting off my hand. Like literally melting. There, I thought it would be more of a dramatic drip, but it's just like absolutely falling apart. Yeah, look, one swipe and, and she's gone. So yeah, I would say it makes a big difference. I was over here, I sprayed it with water and there was no disintegrating, no dripping or anything. And holy moly, I am just endlessly impressed by this. I posted a picture of me holding this on my Instagram story earlier and was like, using this guy today, and my friend Kate just responded to my story, who is a professional working makeup artist, and she said that this is like an absolute game changer for her, and she uses it all the time to revive shadows and to make her own liners, and Kate, I'm right there with you. This, this guy's absolutely unbelievable. I'm blown away. It's absolutely exceeded my expectations a thousand percent. All right, I went ahead and just added some mascara real quick and some lash line liner. This is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner in the shade Vivid, by the way. So, so pretty. Totally goes with the rest of the look. And yeah, you guys, this is the end of the video. I freaking love Duraline. I am a Duraline lady now. I can see myself using this all the time. I have so many single shadows that I want to mix this with. Oh my gosh, I have some multi-chromes that Copacetic Cosmetics sent me that I feel like would look so good as eyeliners. I can make my Danessa Myricks Multichrome eyeshadow palette into liners. Oh my gosh, there's just so many possibilities. I think what I'm most blown away by is how it made this eyeshadow into a liner without making it super sheer because I think I briefly 
briefly mentioned at the beginning that when I use my mixing medium, my Mehron mixing medium, which is alcohol based, I find that it just really shears out my shimmers and the times I've attempted it. And it feels so hard to get the ratio right. To be fair, I do think having a dropper is really helpful. Usually I just try to like use my brush to scoop a drop here and there. Ooh, let me know if you want to see a video comparing these two. Like I'll actually use a dropper to make it fair and everything and I'll do it on a palette. So let me know if you want to see a video comparing Duraline and Mixing Medium. I think that could be really interesting and I'd love to do that for you. But yeah, let me zoom you out so it feels more definitively the conclusion of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I live stream most Saturdays, so I would love to have you join my channel. Check out my description box for all of the makeup details on my face today. Also in my description box, I'll have a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources, resources to support the Asian American community, resources to support the LGBTQ plus community, and resources to support Ukraine. So please check out those links if you haven't yet. And I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!